No precision. Arrgh! Avoid flat HP. Bam! What a lovely loon! What a lovely loon! Hello, my name is Storyteller. I remember, so you don't have to. After Summoner's War Chronicle was released, many people are going around rune dungeons for upgrade monster spec. I cleared the rune dungeon several times and each time, my rune storage fills up with runes. Even I, who played Summoner's War Chronicle from the beginning, took a long time to organize the runes, so I think newbies will feel helpless. <gasps> Look at all these runes! How should I organize it? So today, I'm going to make a guide to organize runes. Please note that this is my method of organization and it may differ from person to person. Now let's go to organize the runes piled up in your rune storage. Number 1. Disassemble. Disassemble all runes below layer grade. Disassemble it or sell them to the shop. Of course, if you are a really newbie, you shouldn't disassemble it. But if you play the game a bit, you will see that rune dungeons are easier than you think. You can clear it with only net 3 and net 4. Number 2. Selection. Now for the really important part. Probably many people's rune storage are overflowing with 5-star hero runes. Korea has a 6-star rune, so consider this a 5-star rune please. Anyway, from now on, I will teach you how to choose good runes. Oh, I won't cover rune set options. At least I hope you figure out that much yourself. If you look at the skill description, you will know which set options are good for each monster. For example, no one would choose the swift rune without attack speed proportional skill or special plate hit. And no one would choose Blade and Rage rune if there is only recovery skills. Also, I will tell you the general case. For example, Light Mermaid is a supporter who attack and attack speed are important, but I can't make a guide includes that kind of monsters. The last thing, please note that there are no sub options that are the same as the main options. If the main option is HP% percent, the sub option does not show HP%. Percent. The runes sold at Galagos Ruins sometimes have the same main option and sub option, but this is not a common situation, so I will skip it. Number 1. Tanker and Supporter Rune number 1 is that the main option is flat attack and there is no defense as a sub option. Therefore, HP% percent, resistance, evasion, accuracy runes are the best runes for tanker or supporter. As the main option of rune 2, you can get attack percent, defense percent, HP percent, and attack speed. Flat attack, defense, and HP are also in there, but I don't recommend it as main options. Of course, since the basic stats of net 3 and net 4 are low, the efficiency of flat stat is not bad. But everyone will use net 5 usually, eventually. But there are ways to increase one stat extremely such as an energy rune with S4 HP% percent attached to the HP flat main option, so keep that in mind. Therefore, HP% percent or defense percent main options are important for tanker or supporter. And sub options like HP%, percent, defense percent, resistance, accuracy, and evasion are effective. Rune 3, flat defense is the main option and attack does not came out as a sub option. So, likewise before, HP% percent, defense percent, resistance, accuracy, and evasion are effective sub options for tanker or supporter. As the main option of room 4, you can get attack percent, HP percent, defense percent, critical rate, and critical damage. Flat attack, defense, and HP are also in there, but I don't recommend it as main options. In the case of dealers, it is a rune that can get really important critical rate or critical damage. But if you are tanker or supporter, HP% percent or defense% percent is recommended as the main option. Therefore, HP% percent or defense% percent main options are important for tankers or supporters, and the sub options like HP%, percent, defense% percent, resistance, accuracy, and evasion are effective. Rune number 5. Flat HP is the main option and you can get all kind of sub options except flat HP. 
because it's duplicate. So in here, HP% percent, Defense% percent, Resistance, Accuracy and Evasion are effective sub options for Tanker or Supporter. As the main option of Rune 6, you can get Attack% percent, HP% percent, Defense% percent, Accuracy and Resistance. However, accuracy and resistance are not important enough to be taken as a main option. You can take it from sub-option. And also, I don't recommend flat attack, defense, and HP as main options too. Therefore, HP% percent or defense% percent main options are important for tanker or supporters. And sub-options like HP%, percent, defense%, percent, resistance, accuracy, and evasion are effective. I know of course it is impossible to find a rune that satisfies all conditions, therefore it is recommended to lock runes with 2 or 3 effective options. The rest of runes do combination or disassemble or sell to the store. For example, if number 1 in your rune has HP% percent, resistance and precision, it's still useful if you can avoid precision. But if number 1 in your rune has HP% percent, attack speed and precision, just throw it away. Number 2, Dealer. As for the main options, rune 2 and rune 6 always prefer attack percent. Of course, defense proportional dealer or a HP proportional dealer, the main option should be defense percent or HP percent. And in the case of rune 4 main option, usually choose critical damage. If the critical rate is low and the sub-option of other runes has high critical damage, you can select critical rate as the main option. Note that the main option related to critical can only be obtained from rune 4. For dealer's sub-option, critical rate, critical damage, attack percent, and HP percent are the most preferred. Accuracy and defense percent? Hmm, slightly preferred. However, if it is a monster that mainly needed to apply debuff or remove, it is recommended to take some accuracy as a sub-option. I think over 60% is good. And also, for defense proportional dealer, I think you know without saying that defense percent sub-option is more important than attack percent sub-option. As I said before, it is impossible to find a rune that is perfect for everything, Therefore, it is recommended to lock runes with 2 or 3 effective options. The rest of the runes do combination or disassemble or sell to the store. For example, if it is the number 3 rage rune but it has evasion, resistance, and critical damage, just throw it away. However, if it has critical rate, critical damage, and resistance, Pray to God for attack percent or HP percent to come out as an additional option while avoiding resistance. Now, I will show you how to organize runes myself. First, I make as much space as possible, then take them out of the bag in numerical order. So, let's see the blade rune first. Number 1. HP critical critical. What a nice. Just go. And for dealer, attack percent. Mm, not bad. Accuracy, attack, critical aid for debuff dealer. So critical damage will came out. Bam. <claps> if I can avoid precision, this rune all options are so good. So let's enhance just twelve. Fire Death Queen, hmm, she might love this rune. No precision. Arr! There is only few precision dealer, even in Korean server, the magical archer is the only one who is a precision proportional dealer. So I think precision option is bad. Critical late! All options are not bad, but I hope avoid flat HP. Bam! What a lovely loon! What a lovely loon! Evasion. I bad. This option is for tanker or supporter, but this option is for dealer, not matched. 
this is bad rune. So after this, just go to the rune alchemy and do combination which runes you did not lock. I hope good runes came out. Mm. If this is HP% percent, it might be great rune but sadly critical damage. I've made many guide videos so far but personally I think this video was the most difficult to make. I edited the script so many times and I sincerely hope that this video will help many people. I'm Korean and I'm not good at English of course so I'm sorry if there was something difficult to understand. Anyway, I hope this video helps you guys. So take a long look. Goodbye.